The Nehemiah program is a two-week camp experience focused on building a biblical community as well as teaching the campers service through serving around camp. Really focusing on how we can serve camp and serve the campers here and serve each other and what we can learn from Nehemiah. We study Nehemiah to get a look at what a biblical leader looks like, as well as for the campers to have an opportunity to independently study the Bible and to figure out what it means and how to apply it in their daily lives. I think we study it because Nehemiah is such a great role model for developing leadership in yourself and with others. First, he prays about everything and he gets everything straight with God before he goes and does anything else. And through everything, he's with God all the way, has his will in mind. And he makes smart decisions that he is thoughtful about without being rash or destructive. And I think that's something we can all learn from and every leader today can really draw from. The purpose of the work projects and team building were to establish trust between the group, teach them how to communicate with, build a community based around serving one another and serving camp. There's kitchen crew. We wash dishes, help make the meals for the junior campers. We would repaint the fences to make them look prettier. We rake rocks and trailblaze for the junior campers so they can be closer to God and not have to worry about falling on a trail that hasn't been kept up. Being a Christ-like leader is to be able to lead diligently and to have good communication with all the people that you're leading. Being a leader through Christ doesn't mean that you're always doing the one talking, but rather than listening to the ones that you're leading. To me, being a Christ-like leader is being able to hear others and make sure everyone's heard and not felt like they aren't heard in a situation and where they we can all work together. But to be a Christ-like leader, you really have to lean back on God's will for you and the ones you're leading. Prayer is a ginormous part of this because without God's hand, you're never really gonna get anywhere. And without God's love, it doesn't mean anything. Without love, it's all for nothing. You have to have integrity. Is it one of the big things of being a leader, um, doing the right thing anytime? two weeks I've learned that God's love is unconditional. No matter what I do, I, my sins will always be forgiven and that He's always here for me. All I have to do is just reach my hand out and accept His help. Not only ask God for help through the bad times, but thank Him for all the good that He does. And to always go to God first through all my... He takes the time to hear us. Agape is godly, sacrificial love, and I feel like that's really the biggest part of God's character that I could really express would be agape, that sacrificial, bigger, huger than life love that God has for every single person on this planet. When I go home, I will definitely make sure that everyone's heard in situations, being more patient with others. I'm going to put myself in other people's shoes and see things from others' perspectives and to just try to have better communication with everybody. Going home, serving but also just loving people better, putting myself in the position that they're in and just understanding what they've gone through 